Calcium is the fifth most abundant mineral in the crust of the planet Earth. In humans, 99% of the calcium in our bodies is located in our bones and in our teeth. Now, the 1% that's left out has a role in various processes inside the human body, such as cellular functioning, neurotransmitter release, like dopamine, uh, muscle contraction, and conducting the heart. This is why calcium is one of the 20 essential vitamins and minerals for human survival. Now, the governmental recommendation for calcium is roughly one gram a day for normal size adult male. Uh, in my opinion, you should aim for a bit higher than that while also adding in vitamin D, magnesium, boron, and vitamin K2, which all work in a synergy with calcium. If you're consuming plenty of products that already contain calcium, extra supplementation might not be that useful. For example, in certain places, milk consumption is so high that calcium su supplementation could potentially be just a waste of money. So the thing that really gets me interested in calcium, however, is the fact that it seems to have a, a pretty uh, interesting role in testosterone production. And that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. All the information in today's video, plus much more, can be found in my book, Master Your Tea. Visit MasterYourTea.com for a free digital download of the book. $20 in value, absolutely free for you. Let's look at calcium and the relationship with testosterone. It's not often something that you think about uh, linking to testosterone production, but still there are a few studies that show some promising results with the mineral. So most researchers aren't even really sure how calcium actually directly works to increase testosterone levels, but there are a few logical explanations for the fact that it controls the neurotransmitter release of dopamine, for example, uh, which is highly correlated with testosterone production and also plays a role in cellular functioning, which in theory could improve signaling between cells and hormones. Whatever the reason for it, here's what the studies say. Now, back in 1976, a group of researchers studied the effects of calcium ions on isolated rat Leydig cells, and they found out that in combination with luteinizing hormone, calcium significantly increased testosterone synthesis. When the researchers tested LH's effect on the cells without the calcium, the increase in T levels were significantly smaller. 33 years later, this study gets published in the Journal of Biological Trace Element Research. The researchers found out that calcium supplementation at about 35 milligrams per kilogram didn't really alter testosterone levels on the subjects who remained sedentary compared to the placebo group. However, there were also two groups on the study that did resistance training for 90 minutes, five days a week. The first group re received that dose of calcium and the other group got a placebo pill. Both of the training groups noted increases in their testosterone levels. However, the group that received the extra calcium had an 18% higher free testosterone level after the workout than the placebo group did. The researchers weren't really sure why this happened, but they suspected that it had to do with uh, the increase in LH production and FSH production. So calcium does seem to increase free testosterone in men who practice resistance training. The mechanism of action is somewhat unknown, and there are more studies needed to validate these claims. But all in all, you should probably consider uh, supplementing with more calcium or drinking good mineral waters like Gerald Steiner if you need more calcium. So let's look at some foods that are rich in calcium. One of the best foods that you can eat to consume more calcium is actually just a great quality cheese. So the cheese, I recommend that you get cheese that's from raw milk and organic, so you don't get a bunch of the uh, nasty stuff and the extra hormones and antibiotics from the cow. And a lot of cows that make cheese in the conventional way are actually pumped full of estrogen. So you really want to avoid that. You got to get a good quality cheese, but cheese is going to have a lot of calcium in it. Another good source of calcium is eggshells. You can take the shells and grind them all down into a powder and you can consume that powder as your calcium supplement because it is so high in calcium and it's also very easy to digest. So there you have it, calcium and its relationship with testosterone. If you're interested in learning more about how to naturally increase your testosterone levels, you can check out my book, Master Your Tea, and you can get it for free right now at masteryourtea.com just by entering your email. I'll send you this entire transcript of uh, over 500 pages of everything you need to know to naturally increase your T levels. Uh, you'll also get a $5 off coupon for Tessero X, which is our Umzu natural tea support supplement. And you get both of those right now at masteryourtea.com. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.